More answers. It's week two of that search in Macomb County, and now two controversies are overshadowing the case that has gotten national attention. Why were grieving family members digging at the site over the weekend? And what is a former prosecutor saying about it being a waste of time? Seven investigator Jim Kurtzner live in Macomb Township tonight with the answers for us. Jim. Dave, and as we speak, you can see the crews here cleaning up their heavy equipment for the day. They're going to leave that over here and continue tomorrow. For a week, this has been a closed crime scene. Earlier this afternoon, police removed the crime scene tape. And as you said, family members were here over the weekend, including the family of Nadine O'Dell, who disappeared in 1974. Her family members, her sister, working out here with shovels in hand. The lead detective gave me permission to go out to the dig site and walk around and dig and do whatever I want to do. Police Commissioner Bill Dwyer tells 7 Action News he supports the decision of his detective to ease the pain and anxiety of family members, and he adds they wouldn't hurt anything. Ten years ago, 7 Action News cameras are rolling as convicted killer Arthur Reem brought police to this same site to find the body of his murder victim, Cindy Zarzicki. Police believe now as many as six girls are buried out here, but the prosecutor in the case told 7 Action News on Friday, not so fast. Having had the honor of prosecuting the case in Macomb County, it's my view that Cindy Zarzicki is most likely his only homicide victim. She was friendly with Arthur Reem's son, Scott, and I think he propositioned her, and I think she rebuffed him, and he killed her as a result. I have the highest respect for him, but, you know, that's his opinion. We work with the FBI, their behavioral science department, different things. We do believe we have the right person that he's possibly a serial killer. This vacant house still stands on the site of 23 Mile Road near North Avenue. It's very familiar to Arthur Reem. He used to keep bees out here at this remote site. You can see the house in the video from 10 years ago. The body that was found out here was three to four feet deep and police say the landscape has changed. Quite a bit in 35, 40 years. The, we believe we're right where the beehives were today. And the police commissioner says they're gonna continue out here indefinitely this week. No human remains have been found, but he says they wanna keep digging to try to find some answers for all of these families. Live in Northern Macomb County, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. All right, Jim, a lot of people hoping they will find some closure there. Thank you so much.